A warning for children about the dangers of drugs after a tragic death in the East Bay. A Concord High School student has died after taking a pill believed to be laced with fentanyl. NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell live outside of Concord High School, no doubt. A lot of emotion there today, Bob. Good morning, Chilara. We spoke to a couple of students before they went into class uh, earlier this morning. They were telling us that their parents were using this tragedy as a reminder to them don't do drugs, especially if you don't know what's in the pills that you'd be offered. It was Valentina Longhammer. She was just 14 years old, had just started as a freshman here at Concord High last week. Uh, her mom spoke to us last night at a memorial here uh, on campus for her daughter. She tells us that this past Friday night, Valentina texted her friends that some kids at school had given her a pill. She was wondering if she should take it. Her mom tells us she believes her daughter was looking for something to make her relax. The deadly pill may have looked like this. This is according to a photo given to us by police. Valentina took that pill and died from possible fentanyl poisoning. Her father found Valentina's body in a room Saturday morning when he tried to wake her up. The real truth is you're destroying the whole life for a person. I'm 52. I'm going to take this forever. Well, the kids need to know what is the reality for this. Well, it's they, they dangerous to take the pills, to take the medicine that they don't know what it is. Everyone seems pretty shook up about it. Like, the fact that someone died during this school year and the school year has only begun is just it's heartbreaking. In Santa Clara County, the district attorney down there is warning about an extremely toxic batch of fentanyl on the streets of San Jose. Fentanyl, if you're not aware, it's an opioid. It's a painkiller like morphine, but much, much more potent than morphine. Seven homeless people have died within the past three weeks from taking methamphetamine containing fentanyl. Five more people throughout the rest of the county, including a juvenile in Morgan Hill, have also died. Most of those deaths happening in July and August. And back here, live in Contra Costa County, Concord High School says they would have a grief counselors available today for any student staff who need help to cope with Valentina's death. And the Concord Police says they are also investigating what happened. Reporting live here in Concord, Bob Riddell, NBC Bay Area News.